two boaters feared dead after being lost at sea for seven days are finally back on dry land, and this is really an amazing story. They're telling their story of survival. To Fox 13's News Edge reporter Steph DePietro-Antonio. It, it was sudden and violent. It, it was a fight for your life. Vance, Brian, and Gerald Cheshire were dehydrated and weak and still very much running on adrenaline, but happy to be on dry land. I said, Lord, I said, Lord, thank you very much. They were Mexico bound from Captiva Island and were rescued about 90 miles off the coast of Tarpon Springs, delivering a barge said, last Lord, week I until said, they got Lord, clobbered by Debbie's high waves, forcing much. them into their life raft for seven grueling days. Like a beach ball at the beach, uh, it was, I mean, it blew us probably 100 miles. They were zipped up in a life raft just like this one we found at Solution One Maritime in Tampa and bounced around in the churning Gulf of Mexico. There's one little hole. Uh, that's all I looked at for about <laughs> four days. I, I, I reminded myself of a sea turtle. I was looking around. Well, is everything all right yet? <laughs> and it wasn't. No, it wasn't. So during Debbie, they would have been able to open up a, a small porthole like this and peer outside and see what was going on. <laughs> so if you can imagine, that was two guys stuck in an eight-person raft. We have five people here in a six person raft and look how close we are. Can you imagine what those two guys went through for seven days at sea in a vehicle like this? We laid flat. We spread out to hold the square side square because every now and a wave would, would, would the top would break and it, it would try to bow it in like a banana. They did not have an emergency position indicating radio beacon or EPIRB on them. It basically lets the Coast Guard know exactly where you are to within 100 yards. Did you have an EPIRB? Did you have one of those? No, we did no. not. Are you regretting not having uh, one? Yes. It will never happen again. Uh -huh. Through it all, they never lost hope. Uh, I, I, I wasn't going to give up, and neither was he. Uh, fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Apparently, that may be true. Steph DePietro Antonio, Fox 13 News. Their families, you know, had already written their obituaries and they were actually getting ready to hold some sort of services for them because they thought they were lost at sea. Gerald called his 77 year old mother, Joy, who was overjoyed to get the call from the son she had thought she lost.